All right, welcome to lesson one, module one. Today we're going to start going over some problems about place value. Question one says for us to use the place value chart and arrows to show how the value of each digit changes. The first one has been done for you. And it shows up here, we have three and 452,000 times 10. And the answer they got is 34 and 52 hundredths. Now in the place value chart, you can see we know that, that to the left of the decimal is the ones, then we have the tens place, the one hundredths place, and the one thousandths place. Go on to the other right side of the decimal plane because we had ones. Next thing we'll have is the tenths, the one hundredths, and the one thousandths. Now you see what they've done. They've taken this three and four hundred fifty-two thousandths, and they've placed it into the place value chart right here. Three and four hundred fifty-two thousandths. Now it shows here we're multiplying by ten, because if you notice, if you take four times ten, you're going to get forty. The whole basis of this lesson is to show you that each place value to the left is ten times more than the place value to the right. And the place value to the right is one-tenth the value of the place value to the left. So in order to model this problem, for, for 3 and 452,000 times 10, what we're doing is we're shifting each place value, each digit, one place value. So the 2 in the thousandths position came to the hundredths. The 5 in the hundredths went to the tenths. The 4 in the tenths went to the ones. And the 3 in the ones went to the tenths which when we read it becomes 34 and 52 hundredths. Now in B, we're going to go ahead and place this number. Once again, I'm, we got the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the one thousandths. And on the other side, the one tenths, the one one hundredths, and the one one thousandths. I'm going to go ahead and place this number into the place value chart, three and four hundred. 52 thousandths. This time we're multiplying by 100. And 100 actually is a multiple of 10 and it's 10 times 10. Showing instead of just one place value, we're going to be moving two place values. So the two, instead of coming to the hundredths, because it would just come to the hundredths if it was times 10, but coming, since it's multiplying by 100, it's going to move two place values and go to the tenths. The five in the one hundredths is going to move two place values. They move to the ones. The four and the tenths are going to move two place values and end up in the tens. The three is going to move two place values and end up in the hundreds. So now we know that three times three and four hundred fifty two thousand times one hundred is going to be three hundred forty five and two tenths. On C, C was done for us, but you notice this one here said 9 and 254 thousandths times 1,000. If we decompose 1,000 as 10 times 10 times 10, since each place value is 10 times greater, we can see we're going to move 1, 2, 3 place values. So the 4 that was all the way in here, when the 1 thousandths the place value is going to move 3 place values to the ones. The five in the one hundredths position is going to move one, two, three place values into the tens. The two in the one tenths place value moves three place values and then went to the hundredths. And the nine in the ones position went three place values to the thousands position. So when we write this, we know it would be 9,254. D, explain how and why the value of the two changed in A, B, and C. Well, in A, it was, multi in A, it was multiplied by 10, which equaled one place value. Movement. In B, 
it actually got multiplied by 100, which we know is 10 times 10, so that's two place values of movement. In C, that was times 1,000, which is 10 times 10 times 10, which equals three place values of movement. Okay, question two. Question two says use the place value chart and arrows to show how the value of each digit changes. The first one's done for you. The difference between this one is we have two and forty six hundredths divided by ten. Well, if we multiply, the digits are going to the left and getting bigger. So if we divide, it makes sense they're going to go to the right and get smaller. So first thing they did is they wrote in the number, the 2 and a 4 in the tenths place and a 6 in the hundredths place. Now the 6, since we're by 10, we know that's one place value. So the 6 moved one place value into the one thousandths place. The 4 moved one place value into the hundreds, the two moved one place value into the tenths, and we ended up with 246 thousandths. Now B, we can see we're dividing, so we know the number is going to get smaller. I'm going to go ahead and write the number in the place value chart, and I know this is the hundreds, this is the tens, and this is the ones, and then the one tenths, the one one hundredths, the one one thousandths. And since it's 100, we know that's 10 times 10. That equals two place values. So the 8 is going to move two place values. The 7 is moving two place values. And the 6 is moving two place values. So we know that 678 divided by 100 equals 6 and 78 hundredths. Question C. I'm going to go ahead and fill out the place value chart again. I'm only going to fill out what I need. Now I have 67. And we're dividing this one by 1,000. And we can see that 1,000 we know is 10 times 10 times 10. That's three place values. So we're dividing. It's going to get smaller. So the 7 is going to move three place values to here. And the 6 is going to move three place values to here. Now, I actually have a zero here, which I can move, but we normally don't represent it. That's why we just have to put in a placeholder. And since it is a decimal fraction, any decimal fraction less than one, it is common to put a zero in before in the ones place. Now, once again, it says how the value six changed in A, B, and C. A was equal to 10, was divided by 10, which equals one place value. B was divided by 100, which equals two place values. And C was, e was divided by 1,000, which equals three place values. Now we have a word problem. First time I read a word problem, I do it just to get the gist of what it was. This says researchers counted 8,912 monarch butterflies on one branch of a tree in a site in Mexico. They estimated that the total number of butterflies at the site was 1,000 times as large. About how many butterflies were in and all? Explain your thinking, include a statement of the solution. Okay. Now they've already done it for us and said that they believe that it was 8,912 times 1,000 equals 8,912,000 butterflies. And they've got that because they say they counted 8,912 monarch butterflies on one branch. They estimated that the total number of site was 1,000 times as large. So we know if I have a place value chart here, like we've been using, and I 
I know this is my ones, my tens. I'm gonna have to go bigger than that. What am I doing? I'm not going to include decimals on this one since we have no decimals. This is my ones place, my tens place, my one hundreds place, my one thousandths place, my ten thousandths place, my one hundred thousandths place, and this one here is going to be a million. So I'm going to go ahead and put the number in there. We have two, one, eight, excuse me, nine. Eight. Now, I know we're multiplying by 1,000, which we know is 10 times 10 times 10. That's three place values. So this 2 is going to move three place values. 1, 2, and 3. So 2 goes to here. The 1 is going to move three place values. The 9 is going to move one place, three place values. And the 8 is going to move three place values. Now, we have these here that we have to fill in. And that's how we ended up with 8 million... 912,000. Question four. A student uses place value chart to show a number. After the teacher instructed him to divide his number by 100, the chart showed 28 and 3,000. Draw a picture of what the place value chart looked at the first. Well, I know that the number they ended up with was 28 and 003. Now, I can tell from up here, it says they divide his number by 100. So, to divide his number, that means it got smaller. And it's by 100, so it's two place values. So, I know that the number is shifted by two place values. So, the 3 moves two place values, which would have been to the hundreds place. The 0 moved two place values as a placeholder. This zero moved two place, two place values as a placeholder. The two moved, the eight moved two place values, and now the two moved two. So I know 2,800 and 3 thousandths divided by 100 would equal 28,000, 3 thousandths. Explain how, to, how you decide what to draw when you play, on your place value chart. Be sure to include reasoning about how the value of each digit was affected by division. Okay. Well, we just explained that up here exactly what we were drawing. I started out with what they gave me, and I knew that in order for it to divide, the number would have to be larger than my quotient. Question five. On a map, the perimeter of a park is 251 thousandths of meters. The actual perimeter of the park is a thousand times as large. What is the actual perimeter of the park? Explain how you know using place value chart. Well, you have to go back to prior learning, no perimeter. Perimeter is the, is the distance around an object. So that's the total distance around an object. So you're talking about the total distance around the park, okay? Now, they said the map, it was 251 thousandths meters. And they said the actual perimeter was 1,000 times as large. So they're going to multiply that by 1,000. So if I do a place value chart, I know that's my 1 1 thousandths. And I decided to start with the thousands because that's where my number was. One one hundredths, one tenth, one. That means my decimal point is right here. Ten, one hundredths, and one thousandths. So now I'm going to place the number in there. It's 250 one thousandths. I know I'm multiplying by 1,000, which is 10 times 10 times 10, so it's going to move three place values. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And the 2 is going to go 1, 2, 3. So we know that 251 thousands times 1,000 is equal to 251.